how's it going guys I'm gonna do this part two on Lost Sailor um, let's get right into it I left off on that part where we go and I explained that that's the, the 11 chord it's a 7 because you're putting But uh, let's go from there. So then he goes into the bridge when he goes. Now the shoreline's back in. There's a price for being. And those chords right there, when you're going to go B minor. sharp note on it and then you have your pinky on the fifth note right here on the on the fifth fret on the B string and you're gonna keep this pinky the entire time the, for the first two chords not the entire time just the first two chords you can do A major to A minor because this is just going from the major third to the minor third in this A so this is an E major, and this this note is also you want to ring that out in this. So it's for the first three chords really, but you're not going to hold this for the first for the last one. So after the E major, you do this B flat, and then you do on the B on the B string on the third fret. So it's kind of like a B flat chord, but you don't do the G string or the D string, just. Just those two notes and kind of just mute or strum, strum through the rest of them. I kind of just mute it with my back hand because he doesn't really put those notes down, so you kind of just mute it. playing this top note this variation you kind of just do the open a and then this instead of going seven by dropping this note or this note you go to this one the top one which you don't usually do it's kind of an obscure bass bass riff but he's setting you up for uh saint of circumstance i also have a lesson on that full lesson if you want to do the sailor and the saint they both these chords in the song correspond almost the entire time so a7 f sharp minor back in that G major and then you're gonna kind of sit there for a second remember how you 
alternate in between the when you do the first step sharp minor you go to the G and the second one you go to this flat five what would this be flat five major seven G and then you put on on the B string because your middle finger is droning and then you put it on third from the second basically doing what he's doing in F sharp minor. He moves it up to G sharp minor. He just adds this, this B riff, B, B note riff in there. So you do G sharp minor, and then you add the, what would this be? Sharp five, flat six, whatever you call it. And you do the same little, uh, what would that be? A major seven. Because when you go, it's the same trick. You put this little in the middle of it. So. transition into this part. And then to come out of it, instead of going into another verse, he does this little. Starting that little riff. But instead of going into that part, you just G sharp tease that the ending jam but then he's like wait key jump okay so then this little second to third on the b and then open e he doesn't do it all the time it's just a nice little riff i like to throw in sometimes um that i've, he I've heard him do Him do many different things in this part. I actually just learned this uh, different way to do this the way, way I was just watching him do it in this video. But this is a super early version of this, so um, I understand he was kind of still hashing it out. But I like the way he does it in this one. Um, so after you do that, there's a ghost wind blowing. It's calling you to that misty, swirling sea. So hit B, and hit this variation would be right here. The D string, G string, and then your B string is going to be on the seventh. So fourth right here, and then the seventh right here. So that's the. The concept is just B to A, but then he adds these little flurries on it. So. Yes, this little. That would be what? A nine. Yeah, it would be a nine. So B. 
nine flurry. And this would be like a A sus four, I guess. Because it's like these three. And then the A. Yep, yeah, so it'd be A sus four. But then you're putting your pinky on the ninth. And you're kinda gonna That's the concept of the riff. Then when you do that, you're gonna it's you're doing it all in the chords, you know. So. This is a stretch, so it's gonna take a little bit to do this one. This took me a while to get this one. So let's play that with him again. that it goes back to this little okay so then he walks up this B string in the G minor so G minor flat five or G minor sharp five six flat six I'm sorry flat flat six seven so it'll be five sharp five Six, seven. Everything else is, stays the same. So, no place in this world. That's when you do that. When you say no place in this world. Till the chains of your dreams are broken. I did that same little walk down, basically walking down with the chords. So a lot of this is chromatic walk downs, chords that he's doing. He's just putting chords with the walk down. Weird way of doing A to A minor, you know. But it's very interesting. To get like the E and then this B flat chord. So he goes back to that after the no place in this world. A, A minor, E major, B flat chord, A major, back into this little, and then he does an extra one right here before Jerry starts soloing, and then back into the verse, you'll hear that, I'll go over that part right here. <clears throat> so we'll go through this this whole part one more time, and then I'll I'll I'll, I'll get past that.
extra one right here. And reverse. looking at him in his hands in this one and instead of doing the E, e sus 2 he's doing E minor in this one this is an early version like I said he ended up doing this so if you do this that's not wrong it's just not what he's doing in this one the one the way exact way he's doing it in this is the E minor and then the D right here so this E minor is just seventh fifth fourth and then the D is fifth fourth So see sometimes right here he does B instead of this G G flat five major seven. I almost forget what this is every time. G flat five major seven instead of doing that, he does this so in the verses. You could just do this B triad. I just saw in this part of this they go on his hands really good and you can see he's just doing this B triad instead of this. So both of them work, but um I can see why he kind of switches in between both of them, you know? And that's Bob doing that right there. So I'm. I don't know what that is. It's like a B. I thought it was a D chord. But I guess he's saying you could do the D or the B. There's there's multiple versions where he's doing different things, you know. But in this version, he's doing like. A B So instead of doing You can do D right here But you can also Do B right there like that It's like that one when he goes That same B So you can do that as well It's just these four chords. A, A7, F sharp minor, G major 7. Putting all 
those chords. kind of just sits there in these little Slide this triad down. And then you put the, your thumb on the G. So. So. Kind of let the A, A string still ring out. So that's the only two differences. Sorry. And this. You can add this in a little. Slide back up to the F sharp minor. on that too check it out um <clears throat> so yeah it's basically the breakdown of lost sailor in the early 80s like i said there's multiple different ways he does the chords i was just pretty interested in this version because it's a nice clean one um i'm glad i picked it because i learned some things along the way and i hope you did too if you haven't yet please hit the subscription button really appreciate it guys more to come thanks